super early in the morning, probably somewhere after five. And uh, recently in my life, I've just been going through a roller coaster. I know that from the inception of my faith, it very much was like, you know, Lord, I want to love you with all that I am. And it was so passionate and so fiery in the beginning. And I was just filled, filled with everything in him. And so recently my prayer has been like, Lord, let me love you like I loved you when I loved you at the start. And it, I know that he loved me first. I know that even the desire to love him comes from him scripturally. We know that. But I'm just here to encourage anybody to love the Lord, their God, with all their heart, soul, mind, and strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. And that sums up the law of the prophets. Each and every one of the laws can be founded in one of those two camps. And even the small little pieces of Levitical law, I didn't know this until I took Old Testament survey, they actually all have roots inside of the Ten Commandments, which the Ten Commandments are even rooted in those two overarching commandments. And so it's beautiful. The law is good. And, you know, obviously we know that we don't measure up to living up to all of those little tiny pieces of the law. And the Pharisees and the Sadducees and all the people that try to really, really just be extremely orthodox in being like, we're going to live up to this law. Number one, they missed it by like 9,000 miles. But then as well, we know that the law was fulfilled in Christ. So it's not so much about dotting every I and crossing every T when it comes to living up to the law, because we know that the law does not save us. Yet at the same time, we know that those who teach that we're not to still fulfill the law or not fulfill the law, um, do the law, which is love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself, you know, they're going to be the least in the kingdom of heaven. We know all this by scripture as well. I don't know why I got on such a huge tangent. I'm just here to say, if ever there's anything in your life that's causing you not to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, if there's anything else vying for your attention Cut it loose. Cut it loose. Because I promise you, you will feel so much better letting it go than you will holding on to it. So take stock of your life honestly. And if you can't honestly see yourself, ask the Lord for wisdom and believe that he's going to give you that wisdom when you ask for it. So, I don't know. That's just my encouragement for today. Super early. It's Friday morning. And I'm so tired. <laughs> but yeah. I hope that encourages somebody. Stay strong, warriors. Alright, bye.